So does my pump work? Black is going on negative, and then red is going on positive, and check the pump. And if you look up, it is watering. It works. Don't leave it running. Okay, the next stage would be just the simplest pump, which looks like this, just a simple button code. A turns my digital pin zero on, and B turns it off. The first time I coded it, I had no off buttons. My pump just ran out. Got my pump. There is my micro bit. So here's the circuit. And you can see it's just the same as the diagram. So when I press A, my pump turns on, and B, pump turns off. Voila. So now I know my pump's working. Let's make it automatic. Okay, the final one, automatic. Now I have my code, the simplest possible. If, when it takes that reading of my analog pin, takes the reading of the pin, which is attached to the nail, that red one, it's pin zero. When it takes that reading, if it doesn't get good conductivity, it's lower than, if it's higher than 900, it'll be happy. If it's lower than 900, it will be unhappy and it will want to turn on the first pin, pin one, which is going to turn on through the relay, my pump. So I'm looking right now at my numbers. It's very happy because it's 1023. So that's the max. Now, if I were to take these out, it might still get a reading, but it's going to pause. Oh, it's unhappy and the plant watering system's up. So my number is, I don't know, 600 or something. Unhappy right? 661. Unhappy. And it's going to keep watering until it gets a better reading. But my nails aren't in there, so it'll just water this until the end of time. But I'll put my nails back in where the wet soil will give me conductivity. My reading will go back up. And it's happy. So there we go. Plant watering system. Automatic style.